Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today we are going to be crocheting some really cute winter accessories. It's bizarre for me to be doing this because it's currently spring here in Australia and it's really warm, but I know that most of my followers on here are from America and you're all in the fall kind of cozy season, which I'm so jealous of. But the reason I'm doing this is because in January, my boyfriend and I are actually going to Japan. It is going to be so freaking cold over there. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to use this as my excuse to make some really cute crochet accessories, some cute winter kind of things. So we've got a few things that I am planning to make in this video. We've got crochet mittens, a scarf, balaclavas, I'm really excited about this one. If you guys watched my recent video where I did how much can I crochet in 24 hours, I actually spent 24 hours fully just crocheting granny squares in preparation for this video. And here they are, I have them blocking. I actually made 38 granny squares and I actually only needed 31 granny squares for all of the items that I'm planning to crochet today. So I'm really happy about that. Like that was so satisfying. I did make a book sleeve out of the remaining ones and I think that is adorable. So I'm really excited to get started. Um, I'm gonna talk you through each and every project and show you what I'm doing as always. Now I've got two different designs of mittens that I want to create today. We've got a granny square mitten, which I think would be super simple and easy to work up. All I'm kind of doing with that is attaching the granny squares together and then creating ribbing around the mitten. And that's kind of it, it's super, super simple. And then for the other mitten, I actually have purchased a pattern. These are called the Matilda mittens from Juicy Loose. And I'll have the pattern linked down below as well, along with any tutorials I think may be helpful if you guys are following along and want to do this too. Yeah, I think they'll be super simple, super easy, kind of smaller projects so i'm excited to get into those for the balaclava i'm really really excited about this we're doing two different styles we're doing kind of like a bonnet kind of tie at the front style which i think will be super super sweet and then i wanted to do one where it was like the full balaclava but then it kind of goes out into a scarf as well kind of like a two-in-one kind of thing so i thought that could be a really fun idea i've been seeing this kind of go around lately and i just have thought this was the cutest thing so i'm really excited to make this myself all really cute, all really sweet, all goes together and matches. I just like having a color scheme for this, so I'm really excited about this. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to start with the mittens first. So for the fingerless gloves, this is a super easy process. We're taking two of our granny squares that we made and we're just going to crochet them together. And these are kind of right sides together. So what we're going to be doing is basically just crocheting down the sides here to make the glove. And what I kind of did, it's very rough, but what I kind of did was just place my hand in here kind of as where I think it's going to sit. And I kind of counted how many stitches here and here I would need to crochet to obviously allow my thumb to pull through and then we're crocheting it fully down the sides here. So we're just going to get our yarn. You could do this however way you want. I prefer just doing like a slip stitch down the side just because for me that's the easiest way to go. You could use a darning needle, whatever it is, but this is just what I've decided to do. I just like doing it this way because it's just like one tool that you use and I mean, slip stitching down the sides is pretty easy. So I'm just trying to make sure it's all lined up and literally just slip stitching down the sides. And there we go, I've got one side done. Now we're doing the other side exactly the same way. And then because we're leaving the gap for the thumb, you could obviously just like cut this yarn here and then come back again here, but I'm lazy. So I literally just take one side of the granny square and just crochet like slip stitch down the one side until I reach the point that I need to start joining them together again. This is purely just out of laziness. Um, and I just can't be bothered to cut the yarn. So I just slip stitch down the side here, putting my thumb through again, just to make sure. Yep, that all looks good. From here, I will literally just join them again and you've just not needed to cut that yarn at all. 
Now they're at this part, we are going to be working on the ribbing and there are two ways to do this. You could either just make the ribbon separately and then sew it all on, but again, as you just saw, I could not be bothered cutting that yarn off. I'm going to actually just make the ribbing straight on here and just attach it as I go. So, so what I'm actually going to do now is chain six, three, four, five, six. As you can see here, I've done kind of five and I've done this for both the top and the bottom here. So I've chained six. Basically I want ribbing that is five rows up, but I've just done one more turning chain, which is why I've chained six. And now from here, I'm actually gonna just single crochet down the little chain we've just made. So there should be five single crochets in total. And you can kind of do this as long or as short as you would like. And now that I've done my fifth single crochet, we have to attach it to the actual glove. So, so because my glove is just a little bit too big, I'm actually going to be attaching it. So usually I'd attach it to this one, but I'm actually gonna to go to the next one. So I'm actually just skipping a stitch every time. So I literally just single crochet that into that. And then you kind of turn your work and single crochet back loops only back up the single crochets we've just done. And this is what I do the whole way round. And that's how I do the ribbing. So I'll show you that one more time. So now that I've done that, chain one, turn your work, and we're working back down these five single crochets, working in the back loops only to create that ribbing effect. So working those five crochets, back loops only. And then again, once I've done that last single crochet, instead of going into this next space, I'm gonna go into the following one, just kind of skipping a space every time. And then again, we're gonna make our way back up. literally going to repeat that the whole way around. When you get to the end here, you're going to have two kind of edges like this. You literally just join them together, weave in your ends, and that is that. So I literally do that the whole way around on both the top and the bottom, and then also on the little thumb hole, as you can see here. For the thumb hole, I did the ribbing three rows high, so it's not quite as tall as these two, but that's literally it. And that is how I kind of do the fingerless glove. This is how it looks. I'm obsessed with it. It is so, so cute. I love that. Guys, <laughs> I finished the bonnet last night. How cute. What do we think? <laughs> I actually can't help but like smile and laugh at myself wearing this. I don't know why. Like, I think it's both the cutest and the stupidest I've ever looked in my life, like simultaneously. And I love it. Like, just imagine me walking the streets of Japan with this little hood on. I actually love this so much like I feel so like little Bo Peep vibes like I'm actually obsessed with this and it was so easy to make you just need seven granny squares I did ribbing on at the bottom here and I did it the same method that I showed you that I did for the glove so down here I wanted it to be a bit longer so that is 10 single crochets lengthwise and then for around the whole edge of the bonnet I did I think it was three single crochets because I didn't want it to be quite as thick but I wanted a nice border and then for the ties I literally just did 50 half double crochets which is one row for both sides and I think this is just my favorite thing like I think this is so cute the vision came completely to life and I'm obsessed 
I've also made a kind of small start on the scarf as well. It's a very, very small start. That's not even covering anything. But I'm obsessed with how this is working up. Like, I think that looks so cute. And it complements, like, the granny square vibe without it actually being a granny square scarf, like, perfectly. So I feel like this is going to take me forever to actually finish and get to a length that I want. But, but you can kind of envision what it's going to look like. It's so cute. The best thing I'm doing right now is weaving in the ends in every single row because obviously you're changing colors every single row so there's going to be a lot of ends to weave in at the end so top tip is weaving in the ends as you go but yeah that's the progress i've made on that today i'm going to finish the other mitten that i showed you i haven't finished that one yet because i wanted to focus on the bonnet last night i also might make up the other kind of the balaclava scarf kind of combination that i showed you as well because i think that'll be super easy i don't know if i'm gonna do a like ribbing board i think i'm literally just gonna like maybe single crochet around the whole thing so that will be super easy to do and then the last thing will be the matilda mitten the crochet mitten that i need to make so we've got a good day of crocheting i've got a little bit of work to do before i get into all of that but I'm excited. I'm already obsessed with everything. Like, I absolutely love how everything is turning out. My vision is coming to life. So, yeah, let me get some work done and then we'll start crocheting. I've tried to make the balaclava scarf. I <laughs> I genuinely don't know how people look good in this. Like, this is a joke. Like, I don't know what I've done. Like, I thought this would be kind of a bit more practical, like this with the scarf bits at the back, even like this. Mm, I don't think this one is for me. Like, I'm sure someone could wear this. I just don't think it's my vibe. I much prefer the bonnet. So I think I'm going to take this apart and just make it into a granny square scarf. The granny square scarf is coming back. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> this one is a no from me. Seems absolutely insane that I am crocheting a mitten when it's so hot outside. Let me check what the temperature actually is. It says it's only 21 degrees right now, but it feels so warm. I think it's because the sun is directly on me. We do have an umbrella, but it's a little bit windy and we don't have anything to like balance the umbrella yet so it's just like blowing away so i'm just in the sun i really should be wearing a hat anyway i crocheted one mitten last night which i'm very happy about this was actually really really quick to work up which is so nice and it looks amazing like i'm obsessed with that it looks so good I'm taking this off because um it's just too hot when i showed my boyfriend this he said it looks like zoidberg <laughs> I can't unsee it now. <laughs> but yeah, I really highly recommend this pattern if you are wanting to make a mitten. This is so easy. I'm going to start making the second mitten now. We did it! We are done with all of the crocheted winter accessories. I am so excited. Let me show you everything we created. First up are the granny square mittens. I am obsessed with how these turned out. They're so, so cute and they were super easy to work up and they fit perfectly. The ribbing looks so good. I'm obsessed with how these look. We also have the bonnet. <laughs> which is possibly just like my favorite thing I've made. Like, look at this all together. I'm obsessed, like I absolutely love this so, so much. This is just so, so comfortable. This was so easy to work up. It just involved the seven granny squares and then doing the ribbing and the ties. It just, 
amazing. I love this. We also had the balaclava, which I ended up undoing, like I told you. That one was super interesting. I really loved the idea of it and I love seeing like other people wear that. But for me, I just, I like this look a lot better. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I wasn't feeling that. So I told you we turned that one into a scarf. And here it is. It is super long. I mean, it literally is just turned into a long scarf and I just did a half double crochet border around it just to make it look really neat and here's what we're looking like with the scarf on <laughs> I'm absolutely obsessed with all of the matching like I love this so much that it all just goes perfectly together I mean this is a look I'm so excited to walk around Japan looking like this I'm obsessed I also did have the other mittens that I made. These ones, the, the beautiful Matilda mittens by Juicy Loose. I ended up adding pink little bows on it because I had actually seen her do a TikTok where she made red gloves with the pink bows and I loved the look. So I knew I needed to recreate that. So here they are. This pattern was honestly so, so easy, so quick to work up. I believe each glove took me like maybe two hours to do and I think they look so professional like they look so so good and it's gonna keep my hands so toasty and warm in Japan I also still love it with the look of the granny squares because obviously all the colors still go together so I'm obsessed <laughs> this is gonna be the option I go for when I need my fingers to be a bit more covered but I love how these look I love how these worked up so so cute and then finally, we do have the little cluster stitch scarf. I mean, I still have a long, long way to go, but I figured I would just end the video here now that everything else is done because this is honestly going to take me months. Like, I'm hoping I can get this done before we go to Japan, but judging by how long this took me to work up, I was like, I like, you get the gist, okay, of what the scarf will look like. I'll obviously keep you updated in future videos when I make progress on the scarf, but I just wanted to show you all the other projects and I wanted to get this video out for you guys just because I know if you guys are wanting to see this video as kind of inspiration then then you want it out sooner because then you can start making all the stuff for yourself so you're ready for the winter seasons all I can say is I am ready to go to Japan I am decked out I'm gonna take all this off because it is so hot today particularly and I feel ridiculous wearing this right now in this weather but I also feel really really cute and I'm very excited if you see me in the streets of Japan looking like this just I just know I feel great just know that this is gonna be how I look and I'm loving it anyway thank you guys so much for watching today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed just crocheting with me enjoy getting some inspo on some really cute winter accessories if you guys make any of these for yourself please 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 send me a picture because I would love that tag me on Instagram or TikTok or, or wherever it may be I again want to thank you guys so much for watching and crocheting with me hanging out with me yeah subscribe to my channel if you guys want more crafty girl inspo or just having a crafty bestie here with you guys so Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!